Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, we are going to be going through the grade 12 mathematics literacy uh, paper 1. And this paper was written in June 2021. We are going to be focusing on question 2 in this video tutorial. Please go have a look at question um, at the video tutorial that I did for you guys where we went through question 1. If you haven't, and also please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel um, if you haven't, because I will be taking you guys through this whole question paper. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video tutorial. Question two. We are told that a dental procedure, e.g. a crown implant, is performed by a dentist. An extra A shows a quotation for a dental procedure for Ms. Mpo Hendricks. Note, a crown is a dental cap which completely covers a tooth, right? So we are told what a crown is and it is a dental cap which completely covers a tooth. So we are told that an extra A shows a quotation for a dental procedure for a Miss Mpo Hendrix. So let us have a look at a Nexture A. All right. So a Nexture A obviously is a quotation for a dental procedure. We are told that she goes to ABC Medical Center. All right. They give us the practice number for this medical center. Okay. And obviously they give us the address, the telephone number, as well as the email. Okay, obviously, um, Mpa Hendrix goes to um, this medical center on the 15th of January 2022, and obviously, she goes in for the procedure, which is the crown, and she sees the dentist called Dr. JJ Nlovo. The patient is Mpa, Miss Mpa Hendrix, right? This is her account number. We're given her account number, we're given her ID, right? We're given her cell phone number and the medical aid that she uses as well as her membership number okay and this is the description of the procedure that um she will uh, be having right she um gets infection control measure all right and we are told the price for that the sterilized instrumentation the price for that the local anesthetic uh, anesthetics per visit the price for that um, the crown, the price for that, the subtotal, and obviously the total, including 15% VAT. Okay, we're also given the summary, how much the medical aid has paid, and how much the patient has paid, right? So this is the information that we need to understand to help us um, answer question two of our um, exam. Right, so let's get started. Question 2.1.1. Obviously, we are told that we need to use an extra A to answer the questions that follow. Question 2.1.1 says that write down the name of the dentist who is treating Mpo. That is for two marks, right? So who is the dentist that is going to be treating Ms. Mpo Hendrix? The dentist, right? So if you check there, you'll see that the dentist is Dr. JJ Nlovo. Right, so the dentist that is going to be treating Ms. Mpo Hendrix is Dr. J. Jane Lovo. Right, let's go on to the second question. State the year in which Mpo was born. So obviously to get the year in which Mpo was born, we need to have a look at her ID number, okay? And we're given her ID number, which is 8212130045071, right? So the 82 is the year right because we know that when you are reading your id number it is written in the format of the year the month and the date right so the year is 1982 the month is the 12th month and the day is the 13th so the year that mpo was born was 1982 
okay let's go to 2.1.3 write down the amount that mpo has to pay when the procedure is done so we look at the quotation for the dental procedure and you check out the patient payment the patient payment and we see that mpo basically pays zero right for the procedure to be done Question 2.1.4, right, says that we need to calculate the total amount excluding 15% fat, right? This is a very important question and you guys need to obviously take note of the following um, table that I'm going to show you to help you answer uh, a question that asks you to calculate the total amount that is excluding the fat, right? So let's just have a look at the table. Okay, you need to remember that when you're calculating VAT, right, the amount excluding VAT is 100%, okay? And you also need to remember that the amount including VAT would be the amount excluding VAT plus your VAT amount, right? So let us just have a look at what our VAT amount, and we were told that the VAT amount is 15%, so let us put that down, right? Therefore, the amount including that will be a hundred plus fifteen percent which is a hundred and fifteen percent right so it is very 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 important that you guys always remember that the amount excluding that is a hundred percent okay and therefore to get the amount that is including the vet you will then have to add the amount excluding that plus your vet amount to get your amount that is including your VAT, okay? So once you've got this table down, right, or you remember the layout of this table, then you will be able to answer the question that asks us to calculate the total amount that is excluding 15% VAT, right? So let us have a look at the quotation okay we were told that the total amount that is including that is a thousand rand seven hundred and forty four rand and seventy five cents so one thousand seven hundred and forty four rand and seventy five cents right so that is our total amount that is including the fifteen percent VAT. however we want the amount that is excluding that so how can we work with this to get the amount that is excluding the VAT, right so we're going to take your one thousand seven hundred and forty four rand and seventy five cents you're going to multiply it with the fifteen Okay, and you're gonna divide it by 115. So the 1,744 rand and 75 cents. So you times it with what you want, you divide it with what you already have, right? This is what you want. So we want our VAT amount. Okay, divided with what we already know or what we already have. Okay, okay. So 1,744 rand, 0.75 cents, okay, multiplied with what we want. So we want to find out what the VAT amount is, right? How, we want to know how much is the VAT amount, right, in this 1,744 rand and 75 cents, right? So you multiplied with what you want, which is the VAT amount, and you divide it with what you have, which is the amount including the vet right and this will give us our vet amount that is inside this 1744 rand and 75 cents okay so let's take our calculator okay 1744 rand point 75 cents multiplied by 15 divided by 115 which is so our answer is 227 rand and 58 cents right so this is our vet amount so this is the 15 percent vet that is included in our quotation right so now the uh, the question is asking us to calculate the total amounts that is excluding the 15 percent vet so we need to minus this 227 rand and 58 cents from our original amount to get what the amount will be without the vet included right so we're going to take that 1744 rand and 75 cents minus 227 rand 
$1.58. And this will give us the, the total amount th that excludes the 15% VAT, right? 1744.75 minus 227.58. And this, the total amount that is excluding our VAT is therefore 1000 517 rand and 17 cents okay let us just go through this question again because it is very important the first thing that you guys need to remember when you are guys are asked to calculate an amount that is excluding that is you need to think of this table right in this table you need to obviously get the percentage of the amount that is excluding that. What is the percentage of our amount including that, uh, excluding that? What is the percentage of our VAT amount, right? And what is our percentage of the amount including that, right? And you guys need to remember that the amount excluding that is always a hundred percent, right? Okay, and then you look at your your um given information, right? And you jot down or you write down what the VAT amount is. And in this case, our VAT amount was 15%, right? And then to get the amount including VAT, right? You take your amount excluding VAT plus your VAT amount to get what? 115%. So that is our amount um including VAT, right? Now then from from here you need to de you need to determine what do we want and what do we have right and from this situation we know that we want what our vet amount that is included in this 1744 rand and 75 cents so we want the vet right so to get your answer we need to multiply by what we want which is the vet amount right so we multiply by what we want which is 15% right you multiply by your vet amount right and you divide by what we have what do we have we have the amount that is including the vet right so we need to divide by that 115 percent and this will give us what our vet this is our 15 percent vet right and then from here once we have our vet right we can simply take your amount that is including the 15 percent vet minus the 15 percent vet to find what the amount will be when the vet is not included okay so this is a very very important question please make sure that you understand it okay guys because it comes up uh, very often in your tests and in your exams okay what is your amount that is excluding VAT? It is always 100%. What is your VAT amount? And then the, what is your amount including VAT, which is your 100 plus your 15, right? And then you need to dis, um, determine what are you looking for? What are you trying to find, right? We are trying to find out what the VAT is inside. What is the value of our VAT inside this 1,700? And 44 rand and 75 cents so we want to find out what the vet is right and to get that vet you multiply by what you want which is the 15 you divide it by what you have which is we already have the amount including that right and that will give you your vet amount and once you have your vet amount you can simply take your amount including that minus your vet to get the amount that does not have the vet inside okay okay guys we are going to move on question 2.1.5 calculate the price of one infection control measure okay question 2.1.5 so we need to go check an our quotation and look at the infection control measure and we found that for look at the quantity we've got two here and then for two it is 40 rand and 55 cents so for one what do we need to do you simply take that 40 rand and 55 cents you divide by two to get your answer right because you've got two the quantity for the infection control measure is we've got two right so to get 
the value for each, we just need to take the 40.55 and divide by 2, which is 20.28. And that is it, guys. And I'll see you guys on my next upload, Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. Bye, guys.